everyone. Um, my name is Alexandra, and let's see. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone has, can probably take something different from what happened, but there's a lot of things that I will apply to my life, but the most would have to be the love and compassion that you have to have for people. I mean, I didn't realize how important that was until I was there. <laughs> I was seriously emotional the whole weekend because seeing thousands and thousands upon thousands of people that are crying and are desperate and are running everywhere just to get a touch from the man of God because everyone has all of these things that they're going through or this pain that they're suffering from. And, you know, here we pray for compassion for people, but it made me realize, I'm like, do we really pray for that with as much purpose as we should? How much purpose is really in that prayer? You know, are you just saying, oh, yeah, I'll pray for you later, you know? And Prophet said something that really has been on my heart is, you know, you can have all the faith in the world and have all this faith, but if there's no love behind it, that is nothing. Yeah. Nothing. You can say, oh, yeah, I believe you're going to be healed. Yeah, I believe that, you know, you can be saved or this and that. But if you don't love the person, where is that really coming from? Yeah. Where is that faith really or those words coming from? You need to love everyone. You have to love your neighbor. You know, prophet would always be like, tell your neighbor, I love you. <laughs> I mean, she's my sister. I got to love her, right? <laughs> but really keep that in, in mind is, you know, when you tell someone, yeah, I'll pray for you. Like, really pray for them and, and love them. Ask Holy Spirit to give you that spirit of compassion, of love, you know, and you will see, like, that those prayers that you have for those people will come true because there's a love that's backing that up. And being a Christian is not just about saying, I love you, Jesus, and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it's really having that love. It all starts with love because that is the foundation of what God is, and everything else comes from that love. Amen. So my name is Tatiana, and there's actually two things that really impacted me while I was on this trip to Mexico. First thing was definitely watching all the healings that happened while I was there. I never thought that that many healings could happen in that time. When I went there, I thought, oh, you know, a few will be saved, and my mind was completely blown. I probably cried from all the healings that I saw, <laughs> but definitely it gave you faith that God is there. God is definitely waiting to heal every single person that comes before him. And if you were not a believer and you went to that, you left there loving God with everything you had in your heart because that was truly the work of God. There's no other thing that could have healed them the way that that did. And the second thing was that it definitely taught me a lesson of patience. I learned so much patience on this trip working with them. <laughs> but I'm glad I actually did learn that because going there, I was not a patient person. Leaving, I have all the patience in the world. <laughs> so, well, yeah, that might be debatable. But it definitely, patience was definitely something that I learned. And I'm actually really grateful because that's something that I've always really needed. So definitely the patience and the um, healing was what really impacted me the most. Hi, I'm Katrina. Um, during this trip, I guess it, it was incredible. It was awesome. But one thing, if anyone went there, all limits that you had for God were just broken. That God could heal anything, any, anyone, any case. And it was incredible. One of my favorite healings that I saw was, it was just a couple feet away from, from us. This girl, this lady, she, I don't know how old she was, but she was blind for 16 years. And when Prophet prayed for her, like, she, she could see, and she, she started, like, screaming. She started running around because for the first time she could see. And just to see that, like, life come back to some person, like, it was incredible to see all these other healings besides that case. And I, I just started crying right there. Like, all limits of God were just broken. It, it was just incredible. This trip, I loved it. My name is Melissa, and I also have a healing story to share with everyone. One that I actually had the opportunity to be a part of, not just only see, um, this, there was a young woman that I noticed was pregnant 
and two security guards were holding her, restraining, you know, one security guard restraining one arm and the other um, security guard was restraining the other arm. And so um, the wise men went up to them, I was telling them to move her, and they didn't understand. They were all Spanish speakers. And so I walked up, and I was trying to help translate, and it seems as though the security guards were letting us know that she was a pregnant woman with a demon of abortion, and she was physically punching her stomach if they let go of her hands. And I, and then Wiseman was just like, let her go. And they grabbed her arms and like, she'll be okay. And so they like, let go of her arms. And you immediately, you could tell she was just trying so hard to like hit herself again and again. And, you know, at the same time, she was also fighting it. So her hands were just constantly shaking like this. And I, um, the husband that was standing next to her was like crying. And he's like, I don't know what to do. I mean, um, he, he could tell the fear in his, in his face. And so with the security guards and the husband, I said, let's pray. And so we all circled around her and we prayed. And through the power of prayer and, of course, by prophet, she was healed. Her eyes opened up. You could see her body filled with that light. And she immediately was, like, so lost. She's like, what happened? What happened? She didn't even know what was going on. And so just seeing that healing, to see that demon, you know, leave her body was just an amazing experience. And it touched my heart so much, as well as with all the other um, healings that took place in that stadium. All right, I'm CJ. Uh, Lord knows I have so many stories about this weekend. If it's not about tacos, it's about uh, Sam, you know. Anyway, uh, so one thing was uh, healing. So before, you know, I was kind of skeptical about healing. Like, uh, healing, you know, okay, people get healed. Yeah, sure. Um, I get scars and all that kind of stuff all the time, you know. Well, anyway, first thing Prophet does when he comes down, he goes, okay, stand up. You know, and he picks up people from wheelchairs, and I'm like, whoa. Like, stand like, holy cow. So, uh, you know, one after the other, one after the other, and then... Uh, after he was done with that, he goes to mass prayer. And I'll tell you what, mass prayer is something that is super intense. You have people manifesting everywhere. I'm over walking with two people on my hands, setting them in the middle. A lady's like, hey, come here, this person. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'll go pick her up. You know, so healings, that is, that is a whole new level of healing. I'll tell you what. So, you know, we see healings here all the time. And I, after experience it firsthand, it's like, you know, God does heal. And, you know, Prophet, he is a medium from God to heal people. And it's, it's totally a new level to uh, a new level of healing that you see. And that's one thing that I got from this is people do get healed.